Hey everyone, this is Jesse coming at you with a new Transformer toy review. Yes, I finally picked up something brand new, and this is going to be my review of ConstructBot's Starscream. Now, a while back I had purchased the Creo Optimus Prime, and while it was an alright concept, I wasn't completely happy with the figure and how it turned out in robot mode. I'm hoping that the uh, Starscream figure here is a little bit better than that, so... Let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open and see what's inside here. So we'll go ahead and just throw the box aside here. So we've got, what is this? This is ConstructBots 100,000 points. I guess we can use this on Transformers.com for something. Uh, we've got the uh, instructions inside here. We've got, uh, looks like all the limbs and everything. And then we have all of the uh, pieces to add on to the uh, limbs there. Let's go ahead and get these bags opened up. Spread everything out here. Open up the limbs. Get those spread out here. And set the instructions aside. Now let's go ahead and build this. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, speed up the video here. With the build complete, we now have Starscream in robot mode. So let me go ahead and pick him up here. In robot mode, the colors primarily consist of this whitish gray, red that you see up here on the uh, upper arms, as well as up here on the upper legs, and then blue that you see here on the forearms and the hands. There's also some black. If I sw swing the figure around here, you'll see some black on the back of the figure. We also have this metallic gold paint up here on the cockpit. This is the actual cockpit. If I swing it back around here in the front, you'll see some, there's some of the same metallic gold here in the faux cockpit on the chest area. Then, of course, we have your purple for your Decepticon symbol. And then we've got some blue up here um, on the eyes. Just trying to adjust the Decepticon symbol here. It's a little off. So in terms of articulation, um, there's lots of ball, ball joints all over here on this figure. So you can rotate the arm a full 360 degrees. You can move the arm in and out here at the shoulder. You can bend the arm here at the elbow. You can also bend the hand here at the wrist. The legs are also on ball joints, so you can rotate them a full 360 degrees if you want to. You can also bend the leg here at the knee. 
And then you can also rotate the uh, foot here at the ankle. The head is also on a ball joint and you can rotate it a full 360 degrees. If you're watching the build video there, um, or the build portion of the video I should say, um, I had a hell of a time getting the head on top of the ball joint. I'm not quite sure why that was, but now it's extremely snug. Almost kind of feels like if I if I move it too much, it's, it might possibly break or just go flying off because of the tension that's on it. Um, but I did have a hell of a time getting the ball joint on that. So that's essentially it here for the robot mode. Uh, I guess we do have some guns here on the forearms, but they don't shoot. Just uh, um, look like some uh, machine guns there on the arms. Actually, going to go ahead and remove those. Now let me show you the transformation here to vehicle mode or jet mode. I'm going to go ahead and open the chest up. Chest here is has two pegs on it. The chest panel has two pegs on it. And on the chest region here, you'll see that there's two holes to line up with that. So I'm going to go ahead here and rotate the head down. Get the pegs lined up with the holes. Lock that into place. On the back here, I'm going to take the uh, cockpit area. Just fold that up. Just like that. I'm going to take the legs here, actually grab onto the middle section here, and rotate the legs down. And then I'm going to rotate the legs, the whole leg section here, 180 degrees. Now I'm going to take the feet and rotate them in. So I'll fold them down and then rotate them in here on the body. And then I'm going to take the each individual leg here and kind of rotate it forward. Show you here at a different angle. Just take the leg and rotate it forward. And now I'll get the, uh, the feet together. And if you look here on the cockpit, you'll see, again, we have two, two additional pegs. And then here on the feet, which will now become the front of the jet, we've got two holes. So what I want to do is line those up and lock this entire piece um, into place here. Just like that. There we go. Just like that. Now what I want to do here, as I did that, one of the uh, pieces came undone in the back here. And I apparently don't have something exactly right because it's popping the pieces out here. There we go. Now I'm going to uh, take the arm here and just kind of bend it down here at an angle. If you look here on the side of the arm, we've got a peg. Um, and then here on what was the top of the leg, we have a hole. And I'm just going to lock that into place there. Do that same thing here on the other side. Kind of bend the arm a little bit here. Lock that into place. Then for the hand, I'm going to take it, rotate it, rotate it up. Do the same thing on the other side. Rotate it, rotate it up. Then I'm going to take the wing and fold it out. And I undid the arm there. There we go. And I've got a little bit of tension tension issue here looks like with the uh, nose cone area because it's not wanting to stay up where it needs to be there we go now I've got it so here is Starscream in jet mode I do have the guns that I took off from um, robot mode and I can stick those I can stick those right here on what were the shoulder areas of the arms I could have also left them back here on the hands if I wanted to, um, but I think it makes more, more sense to put them up here on the uh, forearms. So in jet mode, Starscream is essentially, essentially has the same color scheme as what he did in robot mode. Um, nothing's really changed here because you're seeing all of the, the same pieces. Um, I do like the looks of the jet mode. I'm just not quite sure... Like I said at the beginning of the review, what this, or at the beginning of the uh, portion of the robot mode, what exactly Starscream, uh, version of Starscream this is based on. Um, but regardless, I do like the looks of it. 
I think the robot mode is a little bit better here than the uh, the vehicle mode. Um, I think it stays and holds together a little bit better. Um, and there's a lot more um, options in terms of posability with the robot mode than there is the jet mode. Uh, but the jet mode overall is pretty nice. Uh, now, should you pick this figure up? I guess it really depends on whether or not you like these buildable type figures. I wasn't a huge fan of the Creo figures, but I did, like I said, I did like the Optimus Prime figure. Um, it just didn't hold together all that well in robot mode. Uh, this, however, holds together really well in robot mode. Um, and like I said, if you're into building figures or you're into Lego or the many different versions of like uh, what Lego has, like the Hero Factory, if you're into those, um, this is essentially the Transformers equivalent of that. Um, if you like those, then I would recommend picking this up. Um, it does make for a nice display piece like on your desk at work or something like that. Um, but if you're into just collecting the Transformer toys in general, um, you know, the, the regular mainline figures, you might just want to pass on this. Uh, this particular figure here retails for like $9.99. I happen to have gotten it uh, both when it was on sale and I had some store credit and that came to a final tally of like $2.39 and like 39 cents or something. So that's why I decided to pick this up. But $10, not quite sure I would, I would uh, throw down the $10 for this because um, it's not quite the same as a regular figure. So there's my review of Transformers Construct Bot Starscream. So until next time, this is Jesse signing off. I'm not your enemy. I'm not your enemy.